case at 12. The night beat starts right now. A drama, confusion, and frankly, anger tonight after the president of the San Antonio Fire Union backs out of a town hall meeting with the mayor. It happened at the 11th hour. That town hall was meant to be a forum to discuss and answer questions about the three city charter amendments the fire union pushed to get on the city ballot in November. Myra Arthur joins us now with how it all fell apart tonight. Myra? Yeah, this really did all fall apart. This was to be hosted by UTSA and the San Antonio Express News starting around 7 o'clock tonight. But it was around 545 that we learned that fire union president Chris Steele was not going to be there. That's despite his name and Mayor Rondi being on the official press release as the leaders who would be answering questions about these charter amendments. We'll explain those amendments in just a moment, but this was an event planned well in advance. The mayor and Steele have exchanged heated words and sound bites for months about these amendments and what they believe the impact of the city would be. The mayor said that he would stay and take questions, but ultimately UTSA canceled this event. All right, a lot of questions here. We've obviously reached out to Steele and the fire union tonight. What's the explanation for why that union president, who has been so involved, even delivered those petitions himself, didn't take part in this event as planned. So that's where it seems to get even more complicated, Steve. Through a written statement, text messages, and a phone call that I shared with a fire union spokesperson, he told me that President Chris Steele did not back out at the last minute, but that instead the decision was made to send a spokesperson for the San Antonio First Charter Amendment campaign because, quote, as these are the people's charter amendments and not the firefighters, Chief Christopher Steele will not be attending. End quote. But as we've seen, Steele has been the face of this petition drive for months, which gathered enough signatures to get these amendments on that ballot. We asked for an on-camera interview with Steele tonight, but he declined. However, we did get reaction from Mayor Ron Nirenberg, who is not mincing words tonight. We were ready to debate Chris Steele on stage, the fire union head who perpetrated these petitions and deceived people into signing them after hiring an out-of-town petition firm to deceive people into thinking they were helping firefighters, and he refused to show up. He owes the public an explanation about why he's doing this to the city. All right, so no word on whether this town hall might be rescheduled, and if so, who would show up? We'll have to wait and see on that. So what are these charter amendments? Here's a breakdown of all three. Proposition A would ease the current requirements for voters to change or overturn decisions made by the city council, including setting taxes and utility rates. According to the San Antonio First Campaign's website, it would require 20,000 signatures on a petition to be gathered in 180 days. That's instead of more than 70,000 signatures to be gathered in 40 days. Proposition B would set a term limit and salary cap for the city manager. It would also require a supermajority of the council to approve the manager's contract with the city. And Proposition C would require arbitration between the fire union and the city. The latest contract between the two expired in 2014, and the two have yet to meet at the negotiating table. These charter amendments will be on the ballot November 6th. Myra Arthur, KSAT 12 News. A man accused of stealing from a West Side church and still having the audacity to continue to attend services there. That's exactly what a local church believes happened to them. The night team's Jaffney Gray shows us how church members try to detain the man and get some answers. This screenshot was taken from surveillance video capturing a man accused of stealing a speaker and tripod worth $1,000 from the Light of the World Church on Buena Vista. It happened back in July. And after that, we secured it and let the church know that we had been um, broken into. And then he came a second time. That second time, he was caught again on camera, allegedly stealing some food and a drink from the kitchen. But that wasn't his final appearance. He showed up two weeks ago. The last time he showed up, he was caught on surveillance video captured on this camera asking for church information. And he was just asking as far as what time was our service the next day and, you know, what time were our services. A church member recognized the suspect and he apparently denied being the man caught on surveillance cameras, saying it was his twin. After that, I was calling the cops. But it didn't stop there. He ended up trying to get away, running through this gate, down the sidewalk, and through an alley. There was a scuffle, and the man eventually got away. And although he allegedly stole from the church, they say they forgive him. We must have mercy and compassion for those that may do something against us. So for us, we just invite him. Come to church, come to know the word, 
and you'll see that God is prosperous in many ways. Daphne Gray, KSAT 12 News. Now, Minister of Villarreal did say they added more security measures such as alarms and locks. If you have any information about this case, you're urged to call the SAPD Crimes Unit at 210-207-7631. Well, tonight, a homeowner in Chavano Park says he's trying to connect the dots and figure out how his house caught on fire with only his dog inside. The fire broke out just before 5 o'clock on Fawn Drive near Northwest Military in 1604. And while the dog was rescued unharmed, there's a question as to when the homeowner and that dog will be able to return to their home. The night team's Devin Clark has more on that and the latest on the fire investigation. I was coming in the neighborhood around 4.15, then I, I first noticed the police, and then I didn't pay any attention, and then I heard the, the fire trucks. So I came outside, that's when I noticed the fire was bellowing out of the, uh, the ridge vent and then the two side vents. It was that moment Brandon Bishop realized his neighbor's house on Fawn Drive near Northwest Military in 1604 was on fire. At that point, I knew it was bad. Bishop's concern for his neighbor and his neighbor's house was coupled with other fears. Hey, there's propane tanks all through here. And he was concerned to make sure it didn't, it didn't jump across the street or to the neighbors. But firefighters responded quickly and were able to keep the fire contained. Or it's all we can ask for. The man who lives here now staying with family. He didn't want to speak on camera, but says only his chocolate lab named Chula was at home at the time. And she was rescued without injury thanks to the home's alarm system. The type of potentially life-saving technology Bishop says he'll invest in. Well, that's strange is I actually called uh, another service out this morning to get our, get our monitoring redone. So, anyway, it just spoke to me. We know that arson investigators from Chavano Park and Castle Hills are looking into the cause of this fire, though they haven't been able to tell us definitively what started it. We do know that they don't believe arson was a factor at this time, though the investigation continues. In Chavano Park, Devin Clark, KSAT 12 News. Three stories to know tonight. The 26-year-old woman who opened fire at a Rite Aid warehouse in Maryland was a temporary employee at the business. She has been identified as Snochia Mosley. Three people were killed and three others were injured. The, the woman also shot and killed herself. Authorities are still trying to figure out the motive behind the shooting. Thousands of women who went to the same high school as the woman accusing Supreme Court nominee Brett Kavanaugh of sexual assault, delivering a letter in support of her to United States Senators. The women say they believe Christine Blasey Ford calling her accusations consistent with the stories they heard while they were in high school. Kavanaugh has denied Ford's accusation. U.S. Secretary of State Mike Pompeo says the meeting between South Korea's president and North Korean leader Kim Jong-un was a success. The two leaders laid out an ambitious agenda for peace denuclearization. Pompeo says the United States is ready to restart nuclear ne negotiations with North Korea. Kim Jong-un has promised to get rid of a key missile facility as part of a nuclear complex, but only if the U.S. takes corresponding measures. There is still time to register for this weekend's Head for the Cure race. It's an event near and dear to the KSAT family. and was started in honor of our late news director, Jim Boyle, who passed away in 2014 from brain cancer. If you head to KSAT.com, you're going to find all the information you need for the race this weekend. It will go on rain or shine. We have a link to the registration website, or if you'd like to just make a donation, we have a link for that as well. Here's a look at what's still ahead on the night beat. Why authorities are looking for the owner of an Austin-based company, what he's accused of doing, and his last known whereabouts. Next. Friday on Good Morning San Antonio, Flavor Phase found a Puerto Rican restaurant where you can enjoy breakfast and lunch. Man, they've got some of the tastiest comfort foods. We had a wet commute today. Don't get caught off guard tomorrow. We're going to have the latest in a radar update for you on Good Morning San Antonio. Escalade reviews are in. Texas residents get this low mileage lease on this Cadillac Escalade from around $7.99 per month. Visit your San Antonio Cadillac dealer today. There is a real difference in this race for Congress, and it's your health care. Will Hurd 
voted eight times to raise your premiums and gut your coverage if you have a pre-existing condition. But Gina Ortiz Jones fought by her mother's side as she battled cancer and believes we all deserve health care we can afford. And that can be the difference between life and death for you or someone you love. I'm Gina Ortiz Jones and I approve this message. Rush in and score huge savings at North Star Dodge Chrysler Jeep Ram Fiat. Experience the performance of a new 2018 Dodge Challenger now only $19,995 or $209 per month. Or get into a new 2018 Dodge Charger for only $19,995 or $209 per month. Your choice, only $209 per month and no payments for 90 days. North Star Dodge Chrysler Jeep Ram Fiat, your savings destination. One block south of North Star Mall. Go to nsdodge.com. Open Sundays. Need an extra $4,500 cash? Mission Mitsubishi's Cash for Junkers has you covered. Buy a new Mitsubishi today and get an extra $4,500 junker bonus cash. That's $4,500 extra for the down payment, negative equity, or keep the cash. Trade or no trade, running or not, buy a new Mitsubishi. Get $4,500 junker bonus cash while you're here. Test drive the all-new Eclipse Cross. Mission Mitsubishi on San Pedro, just outside of Loop 410. America's number one Mitsubishi dealer. Officials in Taiwan say they're on the lookout for the owner of a company in Austin that makes untraceable 3D printed guns. That man also wanted for allegedly having sex with an underage girl for $500. The National Immigration Agency and Criminal Investigation Bureau confirming that Cody Wilson arrived in Taiwan earlier this month. His last known location was in the capital of Taiwan. Wilson allegedly met the young girl through the website sugardaddymeat.com. There's an arrest warrant out for Wilson. A federal judge has ruled to consolidate all federal lawsuits against the Air Force over the Sutherland Springs shooting that killed more than two dozen people. The Express News is reporting that Judge David Ezra announced that the lawsuits will be combined and handled by Judge Xavier Rodriguez. Four lawsuits have been filed so far by victims or their families, but more are expected. The lawsuits allege the Air Force was negligent for failing to report the convictions of the gunmen who opened fire at the First Baptist Church in Sutherland Springs last November. The gunmen's convictions would have prevented him from buying guns. Judge Ezra says the court has sympathy for the victims and there's no reason to spread out the cases. We take care of you here and now. 14 locations in the San Antonio area. Texas Med Clinic Urgent Care. We treat you well. During Star Furniture and Mattresses Free For All, save 20% off select mattress brands like Beautyrest and Serta. Plus, receive a free Bluetooth speaker with a test rest. Plus, get your choice of a free Yeti cooler, free 4K TV, or free Apple Watch at Star. X marks the spot on the calendar for family events like game days and starting back to school. North Park Lincoln has marked September for selling down our final inventory of 2018 Lincoln MKXs to make room for the 19th. Get one with Apple CarPlay, Wi-Fi hotspot, remote start, and more. Posted for $33,995 plus 0% financing or lease for $359 a month. Lincoln MKX has the most leg room in its class, which helps because their legs aren't getting any shorter. Visit North Park Lincoln, San Pedro, and Loop 410. From name brand appliances to the big screen TV of your dreams. From a cozy new mattress to a comfy new sofa. Cons Home Plus is the smart way to shop with low monthly payments tailored to you. Whether you've got good credit or no credit at all, you can make it happen at Cons Home Plus. You want a better life and a better Ulysses, his sister Molly, Henry, who's seven. I want to be there with them, but more importantly, I want to anticipate the question that they're going to ask me in the years to come. When everything that mattered to us was on the line, where were you? Let's meet the pettiness, the bigotry, the anxiety that dominates so much of national life today with a courage, a strength, a big heart that could only be born of Texas. I'm Beto O'Rourke, and I approve this message. Hi. Hi. You're picking up your SUV, right? Yes. Well, we not only fixed the dents, but we added a few things. Built-in 4G LTE Wi-Fi, Apple CarPlay compatibility, and a 7-inch diagonal touchscreen. We also painted it. Whoa. This is a dark car. It's a Chevy. You're right. This is the Chevy Equinox. All those features come standard. It's pretty much everything mine's not. What more could you want? 
Get over $3,700 below MSRP on this 2018 Equinox LT. Plus, get an additional $750 cash allowance when you finance with GM Financial. Chevy drives Texas. Find new roads. The newest styles and the best selection are now free at Star Furniture and Mattresses Free For All. Get a tax-free discount, plus interest-free financing, plus free delivery, plus register to win your entire purchase free. The biggest selection of sofas and mattresses in town at Star. They say a picture is worth a thousand words. But what if those words are too painful to speak? That's why one San Antonio photographer who went through not one but two miscarriages with his wife is making it his mission to serve families mourning the loss of a baby through a simple snapshot. His wife wanting her experience to be less public, but Devin Travieso is sharing his side. It's the next feature of our series, What's Up South Texas, where we highlight stories, including individuals who are making a difference in our communities. The night team's Jaffney Gray walks us through the pain behind a story and what he's doing to help others like himself. What's up, South Texas? She said something like, there was a letter in there. It said something along the lines of, like, there's another Spurs fan in the family. And to pull out uh, a little, like, baby Koi Leonard jersey, uh, which, you know, now now we're kind of hoping it, or wishing it was another jersey. <laughs> Last summer, professional photographer Devin Travieso and his wife were expecting a baby boy named Zion. Perfect. But at seven weeks, baby Zion's heart stopped growing. When you have this heightened anticipation and instantly it's ripped away from you, um, I think the, I, I just remember being super um, sad. Within a six month span, they suffered another miscarriage, sending him on an emotional roller coaster. Anger um, and resentment and, and then it became apathy. I've always seen kind of the the rainbow at the end of, of the road, uh, so to say. This is one that I just, I couldn't see past and never saw how this was gonna get better. Over time, the loss of not one, but two babies challenged his faith, but it also taught him a valuable lesson. Whether I understand why or whether I don't, um, it doesn't necessarily make the situation better. The, the, the babies are not there, whether I know or don't know, you know what I mean? So um, I think what that's taught me is just to let go uh, of control. So Devin turned his experience into a way to serve others through blogs and rainbow photo shoots with families who have lost a baby but are expecting another. I've heard the term used for people dealing with miscarriage um, referred to as the silent sufferers. And I think there's a lot more people that have walked through it that don't talk about it. Um, but it only does us good when we're able to talk about it and bring it out in the, in the light. Devin says he still struggles through the grieving process today. Some days it's great, some days it's awful. He is now offering his photography services for free for families mourning the loss of a baby. His goal, to show those families that they are not alone. It's awkward, it's weird, because it's not a... Hey, you'll be okay. Um, maybe someday you'll get another child. Like, there's nothing, no, no words fix any of that. Uh, sometimes it's a silent reaching out and just saying, hey, like, um, I get it. Well, there is a bit of a uh, happy ending to the story, Jeff. Oh, definitely. Guys, check this out. Check out this video. Of course, we have a shot of Devin and his wife actually expecting a healthy baby girl Aww. this fe uh, February <laughs> coming up. Now, again, this is just a special moment. And they're happy to tell other families going through this traumatic experience that, hey, you can make it through it. And it's going to be okay. Oh, we wish them well. Yes. I, I, you know, and he's expressing his pain and helping other people, and that's, you know, that's invaluable. Definitely, definitely. It's a major blessing. It's like I said, it's a miracle to be able to stand and tell families that, hey, there's always a light at the end of the tunnel. Yeah. Thanks, Jaffney. All right, let's take a live look out now outside now with live camp. 77 degrees out there, and we've just had these, like, sudden... <laughs> yes. Rain bursts yeah. that have hit us. It's a good way to put it. Rain bursts. Uh, that's what we've had throughout the day today. Yeah. Even as early as the morning commute. Uh, going right through Bear County, too. I mean, you know, so often we say, oh, well, it missed us again. Miss. No, 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 no. This was a situation where it was mostly hitting Bear County. And they just kept coming and added up to a little over half an inch at the airport. Right. So we are less well, getting than. There. Getting I there. I think we're 86 hundredths of an inch away from tying the record for the wettest September on record. We're gonna do it by this weekend, what do you think? Absolutely, yeah. I think absolutely <laughs> by Saturday we're gonna do it. Okay, so let's take a look at some great news for you. This is three weeks ago, so we're rewinding three weeks ago.
Notice the drought monitor, especially closer to the border, the dark red colors there indicating the extreme and exceptional drought. Drum roll, please. Drrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrr
Did you know in the state of Texas, you have the right to choose your collision center? That's right, you have the right to choose Miracle Body and Paint. We provide deductible discounts and rebates if you don't have one. Don't let your insurance company steer you to a shop where they receive your discounts. Choose Miracle Body and Paint. We have the most five-star reviews in Texas. We work miracles. So my bosses are the 800,000 people that I represent. Uh, not exactly. Here's how Will Hurd plays it in Washington. Hurd took over $40,000 in campaign cash from the big drug companies and voted for the Washington Republican corporate tax handout, giving the five largest drug companies a $42.7 billion tax cut, while prescription drug costs continue to rise. Washington will. He's not working for us. Women Vote is responsible for the content of this advertising. Kick off fall with a fresh look during Ashley Home Store's fall home sale. Start with savings of up to 35% off or no interest until 2023. Don't wait to save at all four San Antonio Ashley Home Stores. The one debate before Election Day. Current Republican Governor of Texas Greg Abbott versus Democratic nominee and four-time Dallas County Sheriff Lupe Valdez. Friday, September 28th at 7 p.m. The Texas Governor's Debate, live from Austin on KSAT and KSAT.com. Bears coming through their breakthrough banner tonight to take on Taft at Ferris Stadium, but 101 in District 28-6A. Taft has taken the early 3 to nothing lead when Bears quarterback Jordan Flores with a wide-open receiver screen pass to Darian Tollfree. He's got blockers downfield. He's also got some speed, completing the 68-yard touchdown to put Brennan in front by a score of 7-3. But the Raiders respond off the exchange from the Bears. The ball is loose. Elijah Galashevili scoops up the fumble off of just one bounce. He's taken it to the house with a 55-yard fumble return for a Taft touchdown. The Raiders are back in front 10-7. Not for long. There's a bear attack. Flores with the quarterback keeper right up the middle. Brennan back out in front, 40-10. The final from Ferris. Brennan takes it 49-12. The Mighty Mustangs and Thomas Jefferson High School in a Thursday night battle against the Highland Owls tonight at Alamo Stadium. Both teams looking for their first win in district this season. Back to receive the Jeff Punt is Al's Drachan Moody. He feels it at the 49. He's bringing it back as he gets closer to the goal line. It turns into a foot chase. He thinks he makes it across the goal line, but the official right down there says no. He was out at the two. No problem. Nigel Cervantes will finish the job. The Owls go for two. They get it eight to nothing in the final from the Rock Pile Highlands, 20 to nothing. Finally, a trip up to Bernie tonight where the Greyhounds were hosting the Harlandale Indians. Harlandale started their season 3 0 with the Greyhounds 2 1. No score, and Bernie quarterback Cole Boyd is able to find Colton Poole for the 21 yard touchdown. That pushed the Greyhounds in front 7 to nothing. The final from Bernie. The Greyhounds take it 34 to 7. Cowboys defensive captain Sean Lee did not practice on Wednesday, was limited today as Dallas prepares for their road trip to Seattle where they'll meet the winless Seahawks. Now, the Cowboys defense never looked better against the Giants as they got to Eli Manning six times for sacks from six different players, and right in the middle of the fight was Lee. But during that game, he suffered an injury to his hamstring that has plagued him over the recent years. But after the game, he described it more as a cramp than a strain. But yet on the Cowboys practice report today, the reason for Lee's limited action workouts was his hamstrings. What does he have to say about that today? Plan on playing in this game, feel good, getting better. I'm um, feeling good every day, so I've been working hard, playing on playing. Just some tightness, but cramps, stuff that comes with playing. I trained hard all offseason, trained hard, and did what I did in camp, and feel good. And, you know, going forward, I'll just whatever happens, you manage. And, and But I feel great. And late tonight, there is a report by the Dallas Morning News that wide receiver Terrence Williams is facing a suspension by the NFL for his arrest on public intoxication charges after crashing his car near his home last May. The suspension can be anywhere from two to four games. UTSA goes looking for their first win of the season against their I-35 rivals. Got there for you in just a few minutes, Isis and Steve. This is dividing families. Absolutely. Yeah. Close borders, too. Big, big rivalry. All right. Thank you, Greg. Next on the night beat, he was once an ally of President Trump, but now he's being considered a legal threat to him, whom Michael Cohen is reportedly cooperating with. Coming up next. Have you lost a family member or a friend in a car or truck wreck? Call the Fords right now. That's 444-4444. There's only one number to remember. Four. The 96-hour sale is back at Nissan of New Braunfels. 14888 buys Altima. 14888. It all ends Monday night at Nissan of New Braunfels. I-35. Exit 191 in New Braunfels. Nissan of New Braunfels.com.
Step up to GMC with nearly 10,200 total value on this specially equipped GMC Sierra SLT. See your San Antonio area GMC dealers. Planning a birthday party at home? Have fun. Or you could host it at Peter Piper Pizza and actually have a good time. Plan your party at PeterPiperPizza.com. Packages include a party host, game tokens, decorations, pizza, and drinks for only $8.59 per child. Book your party today. Hi. I'd like to book a party. Let's make it happen. Peter Piper Pizza. Pizza made fresh, families made happy. Hey, it's going to be a September to remember at Red McCombs Toyota. Hurry, buy with zero down, plus get zero for 72 on new 2018 Tundras, or take 7300 off. So hurry to Red McCombs Toyota on I-10 at UTSA Boulevard. Gina Ortiz-Jones and her Washington handlers know better than you. Why is it so important that we send the right member of Congress to Texas? Come again? Why send the right member of Congress to Texas? Nancy Pelosi agrees and is trying to send Gina Ortiz Jones to Texas by funneling thousands to Jones's campaign. Don't let Pelosi force Gina Ortiz Jones on us. Jones is Washington's candidate, not ours. NRCC is responsible for the content of this advertising. to save 25 to 35 percent store-wide during Facet's anniversary sale. Some see chaos and confusion. We see inspiration and ideas. Some see only what's on the surface. We see possibilities to be discovered. Some see the same thing every day. At University Health System, we see beyond. We apply our newfound knowledge to improve the health of our community and impact the world so that we all benefit from what wasn't possible yesterday. University Health System, thinking beyond. The 96-hour sale is back at Nissan and New Braunfels. 24.988 buys Titan. 24.988. It all ends Monday night at Nissan and New Braunfels. I-35, exit 191 in New Braunfels. NissanofNewBraunfels.com. The latest on the Russia investigation. We have learned that President Donald Trump's former attorney, Michael Cohen, has been interviewed extensively by special counsel Robert Mueller. ABC's Chuck Sievertson has the latest. President Trump's former attorney and fixer, Michael Cohen, by his side for a decade, at one time saying he would take a bullet for the president. I'll do anything to protect Mr. Trump. But now, ABC News has learned Mr. Cohen is cooperating with special counsel Robert Mueller, sitting for hours of interviews over the past month. Those interviews held in Washington and New York, focusing on all aspects of Mr. Trump's dealings with Russia, including business deals and those allegations of collusion during the 2016 presidential campaign. Some insiders believe this represents a significant legal threat to the president, given Cohen's long history of working with Mr. Trump. Cohen has already pleaded guilty to campaign finance crimes related to paying off women just before the election, telling the court he did so at the direction of Donald Trump. At the start of the investigation into Mr. Cohen, the president sounded sympathetic. But in July, Cohen telling ABC's George Stephanopoulos that his first loyalty was to his family and country. And after he apparently turned on the president, Trump's team turning on Cohen. He's been lying for years. There's nobody that I know that knows him that hasn't warned me that if he's Back is up against the wall, he'll, he'll lie like crazy because he's lied all his life. Chuck Sievertson, ABC News, New York. More victims coming forward with allegations against a California surgeon and his girlfriend. Police now describing Dr. Grant Robichaux and his girlfriend, Sarisa Riley, as serial rapists. More than six women have claimed they were sexually assaulted by the couple. Police believe there are more victims out there. One woman described her encounter with Robichaux after meeting him on Tinder. I was in the pool with him or jacuzzi and he started trying to tear my top off when I was saying no it was like he wasn't even hearing me the couple was charged with sexual assault against two women this week along with one count of rape they're currently out on bail and are set for arraignment in October both are denying all allegations of non-consensual sex 
light drives out darkness. That's the message shared during a vigil held in honor of the Fort Worth police officer who was shot and killed in the line of duty. Last Friday, Officer Garrett Hall was gunned down when a robbery broke out during an undercover operation. Some of his fellow officers spoke during last night's vigil, remembering him as the rock of their unit and a loving family man. And he put all of us husbands to shame with how he cherished Sabrina. Put all of us fathers to shame how he cherished Jordan, Tristan. Officer Hall was buried in a private ceremony today. The two surviving suspects are charged with capital murder in his death. The third suspect was shot and killed by another officer who returned fire. And because they've seen more customers using their online banking, Wells Fargo is expected to cut as many as 26,500 jobs over the next three years. Regulators slapped large fines on the bank after a wave of scandals over the past two years, including the creation of millions of fake bank accounts. Last quarter, Wells Fargo reported profit declines and a rise in expenses. That forced the bank to find ways to cut costs as it faces soaring legal bills. Earlier this year, the bank also announced it plans to shut down 800 more branches by 2020. The country could hear from Supreme Court nominee Brett Kavanaugh's accuser next week. Senate GOP leaders gave Christine Blasey Ford until tomorrow morning to confirm if she'll testify about her sex assault allegation. ABC's Kenneth Moten has the latest from Washington. Demonstrating. Protests not... and arrests on Capitol Hill Thursday. Demonstrations against Supreme Court nominee Brett Kavanaugh. We believe Dr. And in support of his accuser, Christine Blasey Ford, who's now willing to tell the Senate Kavanaugh sexually assaulted her when they were in high school in the 80s. Blasey Ford's attorney writing in an email to the Senate Judiciary Committee. She wishes to testify, provided that we can agree on terms that are fair and which ensure her safety. The California professor and her children have been forced to leave her home to escape harassment and death threats. Her lawyer says she is willing to answer questions next week, but a hearing on Monday is not possible. Senate Republicans refused Blasey Ford's initial demand for an FBI investigation. Her lawyer says that investigation is still her strong preference, but she is no longer insisting on it. Because she's telling the truth. Someone who is lying does not ask the FBI to investigate their claims. Kavanaugh has denied the allegation against him in a new letter to the Senate Judiciary Committee. Kavanaugh said he looks forward to testifying and clearing his name. Kenneth Moten, ABC News, Washington. More than 30 children who were separated from their parents at the border released last week. That's according to the latest mandatory weekly progress report ordered earlier this year by a judge. So far, about 2,000 children have been reunited with their parents. Another 240 released to other guardians. Right now, there are more than 180 others who are waiting to be reunited, but most of their parents have already been sent back to their home countries. Various factors are also preventing dozens more from ever being reunited. The Dallas Police Department is not going to internally investigate the fatal shooting of Botham Jean. Earlier this month, he was mistakenly shot by Dallas police officer Amber Geiger. Dallas police say they are trying not to interfere with the criminal case against her. And any statement she would make during an internal investigation could compromise the criminal investigation. She is currently facing manslaughter charges in his death. We had a little bit of rain across South Texas today. Some locations got more than others. You can see the, how streaky it was through Bear County, but especially up and down the, uh, the 281 corridor, and even on the west side of town and northwest side, we had some pretty good accumulations. Nothing on the radar screen locally right now, but we'll take a look elsewhere and, of course, talk about the rain chances for the next couple of days coming up. Thank you, Adam. Well, when children become sick, deciding whether to send them to school or keep them home can be difficult for many parents. Marilyn Moritz has the experts' advice about how to handle five common kid illnesses. Cough, runny nose, tummy ache. Is your child too sick for school? When it comes to cold symptoms, Consumer Report says if he has no fever, he can probably go to school, even with a runny nose or slight cough. The important thing to pay attention to is whether they're too sick to participate in activities, to pay attention and learn, and if they're so sick that it's going to take away from the teacher's ability to manage the classroom, that's when you need to think about keeping them home. If your child vomited or had diarrhea once during during the night, but otherwise seems fine and they ate a normal breakfast and is fever free, she says it's reasonable to send him to school. But if it happened more than once, 
keep him home. Then there's pink eye. Check school policy. Many require you keep him home. If not, the important thing is to make sure they're taking general precautions like washing their hands and not rubbing their eyes and that will help prevent them from spreading it. As for head lice, a lot of schools have gotten more lenient, allowing kids back in school as long as they're getting proper treatment, but not every school, so be sure to check with yours. Remind kids not to share brushes, hats, helmets, and to keep their heads apart. And ringworm, a contagious fungal skin condition that's easily spread. As long as treatment has started, CR says your child should be able to attend school, but be excluded from activities that could spread it, like using community showers. Marilyn Moritz, KSAT 12 News. I guess the door was open, which is odd. Still ahead, her story went viral after she received a visit from rapper Drake while awaiting a heart transplant. We have an update on 11-year-old Sofia Sanchez coming up next. Thomas J. Henry has been helping 18-wheeler accident victims for more than 25 years. Call now. Our attorneys are available 24-7, nights and weekends. Hey everyone, tune in to HB Backyard Kitchen every Thursday at approximately 7.25 a.m. Right here at KSAT 12 for great cooking ideas. Two legends come together for giant closeouts you cannot miss. Now at Alamo Toyota. Massive savings on remaining 2018s. Camrys, Corollas, Highlanders. New 2018 Camrys now $169 a month. Brand new Corollas, $139 a month. New Highlanders, $289 a month. Certified pre-owns as low as $89.95. Legendary savings, giant discounts at Alamo Toyota on the southwest corner of 281 and 1604. The aquifer level continues to climb, now up 29 and a half feet since Labor Day. Mold very high at 15,000, fall elm, ragweed, and pigweed low. I'm Bob Mills, and sure, you can buy an adjustable base anywhere. But only Bob Mills Sleep Spa offers the exclusive mood base. It's constructed with eight gauge steel, plus a German engineered motor that lifts your head, taking pressure off your lower back. Now, get the chiropractic approved Somniva Queen set just $14.98 and the wireless remote controlled heads up mood base free. Now, who's got your back? Bob Mills Sleep Spa. Ah. Ulysses, his sister Molly, Henry, who's seven. I want to be there with them, but more importantly, I want to anticipate the question that they're going to ask me in the years to come. When everything that mattered to us was on the line, where were you? Let's meet the pettiness, the bigotry, the anxiety that dominates so much of national life today with a courage, a strength, a big heart that could only be born of Texas. I'm Beto O'Rourke and I approve this message. Escalade reviews are in. Texas residents get this low mileage lease on this Cadillac Escalade from around $7.99 per month. Visit your San Antonio Cadillac dealer today. Everyone's talking about Kimmel. They said he's the most important host in late night. Really? They said he's late night's clearest voice. They said I was extremely well endowed. Oh, no one said that? Jimmy <laughs> Kimmel Live, weeknights on ABC. Never miss a story. Watch live or when you want. San Antonio's latest news and weather. Streaming free on KSAT TV. Lyft wants you to get where you're going quickly, even if it's not in the lift. The company is adding new features into its app to help passengers find the fastest routes to their destination, including scooters, subways, or buses. The update is part of a new partnership with the mobility services company Traffic. Now, Lyft says passengers should be able to choose the most flexible trip option. And Under Armour is slimming down. The company plans to cut 3% of its workforce in a massive restructuring. That's roughly 400 out of over 15,000 employees. Under Armour sales have only increased once in the past four quarters due to competition, but shares are up nearly 30% this year. 
And the Tesla Model 3 is, well, perfect. That's according to the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration. The car was given a five-star safety rating, making it the third Tesla production vehicle to have received a perfect rating. The Insurance Institute for Highway Safety also gave the car a high rating, but Tesla has come under fire and is being investigated for failures in its autopilot program. And one credit card company is jumping in to eSports. MasterCard is becoming the first global sponsor of the League of Legends. Cheddar sat down with MasterCard's global chief marketing and communications officer who spoke about how the company's investments in eSports will drive consumer engagement. So you create experiences for consumers in the areas that they care about, and then they become the storytellers themselves. You're enabling them to make their stories. So our job is to create priceless experiences for our consumers. And if eSports and League of Legends in this case is their passion, that's that's where we made them. That's where we go and create experiences that are truly priceless, truly memorable. And that's your Cheddar Business and Tech Update. I'm Brad Smith from the floor of the New York Stock Exchange. Oh, she is a little girl with a lot of fight. We first told you about Sophia Sanchez last month when she was waiting for a heart transplant at Lurie Children's Hospital in Chicago and received a surprise birthday visit from rapper Drake. Well, fast forward just a few weeks later and she now has a new heart. She says encouragement from her family and her new friend helped her stay positive. He said to uh, stay strong and keep fighting and you will get through this. And um, that helped a lot. But my mom says everybody goes through something in life and they do get through it. Sophia is now on the road to recovery at the Ronald McDonald House in Chicago. She's expected to be able to go home soon. That's great news. All right, switching gears to a video shot by a firefighter in British Columbia. Mary Schladowski says she recorded this video last month when her crew was battling a wildfire. Somehow the flames and smoke entwined, creating a fire tornado, a fire NATO. The crew's hose even sucked up in the whirlwind. Sladowski says she tried getting the hose out. It ended up melting in the flames, which rose about 100 feet into the air. After about 45 minutes, it finally subsided. It almost doesn't look real. Yeah. You get, those a, wacky. you get them a lot around wildfires yeah. because those fires are so hot and intense that there's a lot of rapidly rising mm -hmm. air because it's so hot. And then you add to it the strong winds, the strong winds, you know, across the ground, they're often associated with spreading wildfires and you get a little bit of wind shear too with that updraft and it just takes it and swirls and it. And, yeah. yeah. I don't and, know if I've ever seen it like, like somebody that close yeah. where it's no. like the hose <laughs> up and you know, all that. So, no, yeah. them trying to pull the hose back. I haven't yeah. seen that, but, and you know, with the lift within the, the vortex, it pulls fire up too. So it's, Interesting. yeah. Wow. yeah. Yeah, well, around here, just rain. <laughs> yeah. We're looking at we're, rain. We're fine with the, we're fine with no fire natos <laughs> yes. right now. Yeah. Boring. Yeah. Bring yeah, it on. Okay. <laughs> exactly. So just more rain across South Texas in the days to come. You know, today it was hit or miss, and it was coming and going. It was intermittent, and we're going to see more of this. But I think it's going to be a little more widespread, particularly on Saturday. I think high school football games tomorrow have a pretty good chance of getting most of them in. All right, so there's a look at our time lapse today. We had few passing showers. You saw the showers hit the screen there, hit the camera lens. A little over half an inch of rain at the airport, and our high temperature was 87. That's a few degrees below average, the average being 89. Now, the record 100 set back in 1947, and our morning low of 74. That's really the coolest we could get with how much moisture is in the air. The more moisture and mugginess you have, the warmer it's going to be at night. The temperature can't fall off and get lower than the dew point. And dew points right now are in the mid 70s. So here's a look at the rainfall totals today, or at least estimates by the radar. And you see these streaks north south through parts of Bear County. I mentioned the airport a little over half an inch, closer to Stone Oak, about seven tenths of an inch estimated. And you go just north and northwest of New Braunfels and two inches estimated by the radar. And that's mainly from this downpour that uh, just moved through parts of Kamal Co County and is pushing northward now. Wimberley getting the rain, Kyle, Buda, just south of Dripping Springs. But Hayes County seeing that downpour, even into Blanco County, some action there too. Bandera County, we're seeing some development coming in from Uvalde County and a little bit from Medina County. And I anticipate more of this development later on tonight. I expect more of these showers and thunderstorms 
later tonight and even for the first part of the morning tomorrow. So 77 here in town, but 73 Rock Springs, 80 still in Catula, 78 in New Braunfels. For the most part, we're in the upper 70s around town here and across South Texas. But look at this, there is a boundary off to our north. We're talking 40s and 50s across the northern portion of the United States. So there is some cooler air that's up to the north and it is plunging southward. But for now, it's not making it here to South Texas. Now, by the middle of next week, we expect a little cold front to make it into town, but I don't think it's going to have a big impact on our temperatures. It's just going to increase our rain chances again. But we're starting to see these fronts creep a little farther south now that we're getting late, later into September. A good portion of the state seen some popping uh, scattered showers throughout the day today. And Pacific moisture is really gonna help fuel our downpours over the next couple of days. Our Pacific moisture content has been, or our moisture content, I should say, of our air has been increasing. And the result is uh, this moisture that's gonna lead to heavy downpours. But the Pacific moisture stretches all the way up into southern Canada right now. And we're tapping into that moisture. So it's not gonna be rain, raining continuously, but when it does intermittently, it's gonna come down pretty hard and we'll have those downpours. 76 in the morning tomorrow, 86 for the afternoon high with those passing showers and storms. And then more widespread and more numerous in terms of the showers and storms by Saturday and a few lingering into Sunday as well. And next week, yep, we're still looking at some areas of scattered rain. So I know a lot of sporting events have been rescheduled, kids' teams and stuff, and it's hard to plan around mm -hmm. this kind of weather pattern. All right, thanks so much, Adam. All right, a lot of interesting storylines for the Alabama A&M game. Well, for example, did you know Jimbo Fisher once worked for Nick Saban? I did not know that. And did you know what his record is against all of his former assistants combined is? You might be surprised to find out. Okay. When we come back, we'll reveal that as the Aggies prepare to face number one ranked Alabama. And will UTSA use two quarterbacks in their rivalry game against Texas State coming up? If you have been harmed in a bad weather accident, call the fours immediately. That's 444-4444. There's only one number to remember, and that's four. Friday on Good Morning San Antonio, Flavor Phase found a Puerto Rican restaurant where you can enjoy breakfast and lunch. Man, they've got some of the tastiest comfort foods. We had a wet commute today. Don't get caught off guard tomorrow. We're going to have the latest in a radar update for you on Good Morning San Antonio. The Mercedes-Benz of tomorrow will transform not just the automobile, but mobility itself. An autonomous thinking vehicle protecting those inside and out. And it's the Mercedes-Benz of today that will help us get there. The 2018 E-Class, with innovations that will change the way we drive from this day forward. Lease the E300 for $569 a month at your local Mercedes-Benz dealer. Mercedes-Benz, the best or nothing. Gina Ortiz Jones and her Washington handlers know better than you. Why is so important? That we send the right member of Congress to Texas. Come again? That we send the right member of Congress to Texas. Nancy Pelosi agrees and is trying to send Gina Ortiz Jones to Texas by funneling thousands to Jones's campaign. Don't let Pelosi force Gina Ortiz Jones on us. Jones is Washington's candidate, not ours. NRCC is responsible for the content of this advertising. All right, don't worry. I'm not going to let you fall. I'll be right here. <laughs> She's gone from four wheels to two. Every day, there's a reason to celebrate at Peter Piper Pizza. It's fun and games where everyone wins. And me from Scratch Pizza, everyone loves. This is family fun made easy. Double the delicious with our double up deal. Get two large one topping pizzas on dough made fresh daily for $19.99. Only at Peter Piper Pizza. Peter Piper Pizza. Pizza made fresh, families made happy. Choose the road less traveled during Jeep Adventure Days at Texas number one exclusive Jeep dealer Blue Bonnet Jeep in New Braunfels. Get outdoors in a Grand Cherokee with this and more posted for just $26,995. Or venture off-road in an all-new Wrangler JL 4x4 with automatic and more. Posted at only $28,995 to start your next adventure. Just take that short drive up I-35 to Blue Bonnet Jeep in New Braunfels and see why. Blue Bonnet prices are different. Brand appliances to the big screen TV of your dreams. From a cozy new mattress to a comfy new sofa, Cons Home Plus is the smart way to shop with low monthly payments tailored to you. Whether you've got good credit or no credit at all, you can make it happen at Cons Home Plus. You want a North 
Park Subaru is moving out our final inventory of 2018 Outbacks in September. Get one with all-wheel drive, Apple CarPlay, and more posted for $25,279 plus 0.9% financing. Complimentary maintenance included from either North Park Subaru location. Texas Aggies face the Crimson Tide of Alabama be their first road game of the season. They are now 27-point underdogs in their SEC opener. The Aggies are 2-1 following a narrow 28-26 loss to the number two ranked team in the country, Clemson, while the defending national champs are undefeated and averaging 57 points a game so far this season. But the Aggies' Travion Williams leads the conference in rushing with 399 yards so far and four touchdowns where the Crimson Tide have given up 101 yards on the ground. One point the Aggies may try and attack. And did you know that Aggies coach Jimbo Fisher was an assistant under Alabama head coach Nick Saban from 2000 to 2004 when they were both at LSU but Saban is 12 and 0 against his former assistants he's created a culture at his place they expect to win they know how to win they got good players and they're well coached so that makes it a real good combination <laughs> and what you're doing and everybody else is building their programs and establishing their programs to where you go but he's done a great job and he's a great coach and you learn from everybody I've learned from everybody I've coached with and when you, when you, you go against a guy who's as uh, well thought of as a defensive mind you have to come up with different protections different ways to run you have to be multi-formational and understanding how to attack guys like that so yes it definitely made me grow as a coach there's no doubt and you cannot ask for a bigger stage for this game nationally brought broadcast on Saturday with a 2.30 kick. Like the Aggies, the Texas Longhorns face their conference opener when they host 17th-ranked TCU this Saturday in Austin, their first Big 12 game. The Horns are coming off back-to-back -back wins against Tulsa and USC after losing their season opener to Maryland on the road. In the win against the Trojans, the Longhorns were dominant at all phases of the game after getting down 14-3, only to storm back by scoring 34 unanswered points to win 37-14. Freshman Caden Stearns out of Steel High School is already drawing comparisons to former UT All-American Earl Thomas with an interception and a blocked field goal in the last two games. The challenge facing Texas Texas is that TCU is the only program in the Big 12 that UT hasn't beaten since Mac Brown was forced out after the 2013 season. So what is the Horns' mindset going into this game after beating USC? Last week doesn't matter anymore. Um, obviously, it's a it's a great confidence boost, and it's gonna we prove to ourselves what we can do when we play well on all sides of the ball. But um, I think we, we understand that moving forward, we have to we have to consistently play well, and um, in order to be the team that we want to be, we have to put big wins um, um, and stack them on top of each other. All right, kickoff at Royal Memorial Stadium on Saturday, set for 3:30 in Austin. The UTSA Roadrunners face the Texas State Bobcats this Saturday night in the Alamo Dome in what is being billed as the HEB I-35 rivalry. Now, this will be the third meeting between these two schools with Roadrunners winning both before. Back in 2012, the Alamo Dome, 38-31. And then last year up in San Marcos, 44-14. The Bobcats are 1-2 and two to start this season, but the Roadrunners are still looking for their first win after losing to Arizona State, Baylor, and Kansas State to open their season. In the 41-17 loss, head coach Frank Wilson played both of his quarterbacks, Cordell Grundy and D.J. Gill and both had touchdown tosses. Grundy with a two-yard toss in the first quarter to Halen Stewart, and Gillens with a 10-yard touchdown to Greg Campbell in the fourth quarter. Now, are there any plans to play both quarterbacks against the Bobcats? No, not necessarily planning to play two. Uh, I thought as we, again, a week ago about this time, we knew what we were trying to get accomplished uh, with, uh, with our quarterback rotation. If the opportunity presents itself, uh, that's something that we're, we're open to. Uh, Cordell will get the start and we'll, we'll play the game as is and if fit, we'll, we'll, we'll adjust accordingly. All right, kickoff in the Alabama Dome in this showdown between UTSA and Texas State is set for 6 p.m. Sunday showdown between the Texans and the Giants features two of the best receivers in the game. Next. Hey, it's David and Fiona on the next Essay Live. Dr. Bryce Wilde is here to make over your medicine cabinet with some natural remedies. Cool, and fall wreaths, what you can make at home. Mm, I'm following the next Essay Live. My name is Rick Lopez. I'm the executive chef here at La Condesa in Austin, Texas. I started when I was a young guy. Plugging away, pushing, doing the hours, and it's kind of brought me here to where I am now. Just hard work. My philosophy is work. Work and it'll happen. Always give your best because nobody can take that away from you. Greatness is within reach. Right now, you could get a great deal on the 2018 Civic. The Kelly Blue Book, KBB.com, Best Buy. From Honda. 
A West Point graduate, Joseph Kopser served 20 years in the military, two combat tours in Iraq. Returning home, Kopser founded a successful technology company, creating Texas jobs, and helped build a nonprofit for other veterans to start their own businesses. Joseph Kopser. I've crossed oceans and deserts to defend our country. Believe me, I can cross an aisle if that's what it takes to solve our problems in Washington. And I'm not afraid to stand up to leaders in both parties to do it. I'm Joseph Kopser, and I approve this message. It's red hot! Time to clear the lot! With 0% for 72 months or 16,000 off MSRP, our remaining 2018 Ford F-150s are going fast. Or how about a new 2018 Escape? Now just $299 a month, and you own it. Get red hot deals on a new Ford Explorer. Now available with a no lease, you own it payment of just $399 a month. Shop us first. Shop us now. Northside Ford, where we'll beat any Ford deal in Texas or give you $1,000. We'll beat it. Call us today and see why the vein tech difference really matters. Our board-certified vascular surgeons have been treating vein disease for 30 years, so you can be confident you're getting the most experienced care and treatment. Call to schedule a consultation today. APR on new value pack 2019 Jetta models. Release this Jetta S for $179 a month. Now it's the People First warranty. Win the winless Texans host the winless Giants. Houston's first home game of the season will showcase two of the NFL's best receivers in DeAndre Hopkins and Odell Beckham Jr. Hopkins stands at six foot one, has 188 yards and one touchdown in the 0-2 start, while Beckham is a bit shorter at 5'11, has 162 yards receiving so far, and is looking for his first touchdown this season. And both are fans of each other. Uh, he's a great wide receiver. Uh, he's, he's one of the best to do it. Uh, ain't no one will be for a while. Probably the best receiver in the game right now. Um, from the routes he run, the things that they ask him to do, um, his catch radius, 50-50 um, balls. Um, you know, so he poses a problem for some of the best DBs in the game. All right, the last thing either one of these two teams wants is to fall into that 0-3 hole. Kickoff Sunday in NRG Stadium is set for noon. And don't forget to join us because we begin our big game coverage tomorrow at 5. We'll be live from Rutledge Stadium for the big showdown between Judson and Steele. And also another huge one tomorrow is between Reagan and Johnson. That opens up play in district. That's also a neighborhood rivalry as well because the two schools are oh, so yeah. close together. And we'll keep you up to date on the weather because that will be important this entire weekend with every game scheduled. Those are two monster games yes, tomorrow. All right. All right. Thanks, Greg. Sure. We'll be right back. Here's your Buick, sir. Actually, that's my Buick. Your Buick doesn't have a roof rack. This is my Buick. How are we going to fit in your mom's Buick? Easy. I like that new Buick. Me too. I was actually talking about that Buick. I knew that. Buick's fresh new lineup is full of surprises. Texas residents, get this low mileage lease on this Encore for around $199 per month. See your San Antonio area Buick dealers. Even Democrats don't trust Gina Ortiz Jones because when it comes to our local economy, here is what her fellow Democrat had to say about her support of BRAC that will close vital military bases. When I heard Gina say yes, she would support a third round of BRAC. I was really surprised because it, it is unimaginable to me that anybody who wants to represent this district would ever be for BRAC. It's like playing Russian roulette with people's jobs. Gina Ortiz Jones and her plan will hurt our local communities and put our national security at risk. Will Hurd has served alongside our brave men and women overseas and here at home. He will never gamble with the jobs of our nation's heroes or our children's safety. Will Hurd works every day to strengthen our economy and keep these vital military bases open. I'm Will Hurd and I approve this message. 
Blue Bonnet Motors is your pre-owned headquarters. We have hundreds of vehicles in stock for immediate delivery. Choose from luxury cars, SUVs, and economical budget cars. Or choose one of our Ford certified pre-owned vehicles. Each one has been reconditioned to like new and has passed a 172-point inspection by a trained technician. And remember, we feature a 48-hour return policy and a 10-day trade appraisal guarantee. To get low-posted prices on a great selection of used and certified pre-owned vehicles, head to Blue Bonnet Motors in New Braunfels. Today we're here to talk about trucks. I love trucks. Well, what truck brand comes from the family of the most dependable, longest-lasting, full-size pickups on the road? I think it's the Chevy. Ford. It's not Ford. I think it's Ram. It's not Ram either. That's it's Chevy. Chevy. Gorgeous. Get a total value of $8,250 on this Silverado Texas edition. Plus, trade up and get an additional $3,250 total cash allowance when you finance with GM Financial. Chevy drives Texas. Find new roads. Here we go again. Some scattered showers later tonight, even I think tomorrow morning, then just isolated in nature by tomorrow afternoon. Into the weekend, best chance of rain will be on Saturday, and it's going to be coming and going, but fairly widespread and downpours when it does rain because we've got a lot of moisture in our air and storms will just ring it out. And the chances just keep on coming. Even next week, yes. Yeah. Thank you, Adam. Have a great night. Good night.